welcome to everybody. There are handouts at the back table if you have a preference. Let's go ahead and move on. So this, these are the things kind of in general what we manage. The campus-wide infrastructure and networking, like I said, that's the things kind of behind the wall that no one sees that makes the computers work and the Wi-Fi work and several systems here on campus. Then we have the residential technology, which you see in your units, that's your cable and internet in your units. And then we also have the campus phone system, the PBX, which is all of our phone lines that run throughout campus for staff and residents. We have our staff have computers and software that they use to keep you safe and keep, the, keep informed. And then we also have a lot of other services here on campus that you're familiar with. We'll go through those in just a minute. So that's kind of in a big bubble what we do here at our IST team. So one of the questions that was submitted to me, and thank you to the resident council members for gathering questions so that we could address those here in front of the big crowd instead of just one-on-one. -on -one. So thank you, resident council members, for doing that. These are just some of the things that we manage here on campus. And I'm not going to go through these. You can read, but it's you know servers and the access points that provide the Wi-Fi, and it's the printers for the staff. It's the fax line that allow us to receive and, and send faxes. It's the surveillance cameras that are across campus to keep everyone safe and keep the bad guys out and the, the good guys in. Um, and also, we have projectors and screens and microphones. Um, in healthcare, we help manage that nurse call equipment. So there's a lot of, of things that we take care of across campus that you may see and you may not see. So let's start with the residential technology, which is your cable and internet. We are currently in negotiations with Spectrum. Caesar's doing a great job for us there at Spectrum to get us what we want in our residences. So we have uh, internet, which is Wi-Fi service. You are going to have, uh, we'll talk about it a little bit, but your modem and your router that provide you your internet in your um, actual units. And we are increasing, we'll keep talking about that today, the speed, um, Caesars and Spectrum's working it out for us so that we're currently at 100 download and 20 upload. We're gonna be going up to 600 download and 20 uploads. You should see a significant difference in, in your speeds as you, you do your downloads and uploads. And then also we um, have the cable television. We are working on the channel lineup right now. I can't tell you what channels, although I can tell you the three channels requested are GRIT and the Golf Channel and the Military History Channel, and those will be in the lineup. Everybody clap. Yay. So we'll have more information on that later in the presentation, and also um, you'll be getting the channel lineups, you'll be getting more information, we're going to roll that out. Also, we take care of the campus phone system. That means they're available to you are the ARC landline services. Those are the numbers everybody knows of. You pick up your phone and you dial four digits instead of the whole phone number. So you can get in touch with each other easy. You can call the front desk at 5300. You can call us at 5292. So those are the campus landlines. Those are available for $25 a month and you see that on your monthly statement if you choose to have that. That includes caller ID, call waiting, voicemail, and also a lot of you don't know this, but it also includes your long distance. So that just gets rolled in. We don't charge you by the minute like we used to years ago. Like you can, you can use the long distance on your phones in your, in your units. So these are just a few of the software systems that we use. Obviously we have Microsoft, we have the Windows operating system. We um, are helping implement Salesforce in our sales team to help make them more efficient. We um, are currently implementing a PayCore system that helps our HR team and our payroll team um, to be more efficient and, and um, everything come together in a really nice, efficient way. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, Works Hub, you're all familiar with Works Hub. Our department kind of manages the Works Hub and the work quarters. I'm constantly updating and trying to improve that. And I did get a few questions about the Works Hub and I appreciate that. Um, we did include a couple on the FAQ sheet that you picked up at the door, but the short story is, um, if you put in a work order currently, 
Works Hub does not have a way for you to go in and edit your um, work order. So just call, leave a voicemail, or just put in a new Works Hub uh, work order and say, you know, on the previous one, do this. And I know that's not the most efficient, it's not the best answer, but that's what they've got now for us to do. Uh, we also work on the retail tracker in Volante point of sale, which is when you go in the market and you buy something, that software is managed by our team. If you go to the front desk and get a guest room, if you go to the beauty salon and get your hair done, or if housekeeping does some extra items for you, that's all running through our POS system. So uh, we manage that system. So I'm not gonna read through all of them. Just wanted to kind of give you a sampling of the software systems that our team is managing. So other services that we provide, we have public Wi-Fi through all of the buildings, have had several questions about that. So we will add some, some details about <coughs> if you have this problem, you can do this. We'll put that out on the portal along with our FAQs and keep that updated as things come up. Um, the the uh, Wi-Fi does require a login, just like if you go to the public place like an airport, it's gonna ask you to sign up before you sign in. We have that in place. It protects our entire network and, and um, all of our Wi-Fi. So you can feel confident that when you're using that, the information you're doing is secure. We also have a personal computer and a printer in the resident lounge. Um, and then we obviously do meeting and event support. Um, so those are some of the other things that we do. So having asked all those questions and knowing that we've been kind of crazy busy during the whole phase one and putting all this new stuff in and all the new tech behind the walls and updating our, our switches and updating our servers, we've gotten a little lax, admit it, okay? So we have growth opportunities. So we sat down as a team and talked about what can we do to better communicate with you. And here's some of our strategy that we've put together. Um, just so you know, the IST team does not have a receptionist. We don't have an admin. We all just kind of share those duties. We don't have a wonderful Rachel or an Alma sitting in a desk to take your calls. We just, it's not a good use of the art money and it's, it's not a good use of our tax time. Their best work is done out there with you in your units um, with the staff member, that's we don't sit at the desk. So as a result, you feel like we're not listening, we're not communicating. So here's our growth opportunities. We are now gonna start checking every couple of hours all of our work sub tickets and our voicemail, and we will call you and confirm that we got those work orders, we got the email, we got the voicemail. We will set up an appointment with you, and before we come to your unit, we will call you to make sure that that appointment time is still working for you. We're also gonna practice punctuality for all of those scheduled services. <laughs> we are probably going to give you a, we can be there between 10 and 11.30. Expect to hear that because Mr. Rosso may want a lot of attention when we go to his unit. <laughs> and so we may be running a little late. We may not get that done in 30 minutes. We schedule our visits to you for 30 minutes. So he's gonna take 45 minutes, so guess what? Now we're 15 minutes behind. So we're gonna give you a range. We'll see you between 10 and 11.30, and then we'll call you before we come to make sure that that time is still working for you. Good? Okay, great. The other thing that we hear is that we are not um, as available to you visibly, and we have the computer club that does an awesome job of helping you with your personal devices and things. But just to get our text kind of out there so that you can see them, and when the computer club might be closed, and we will do this when they are closed, we're gonna set up what I'm calling a mobile help desk. So we out, out here in the lobby maybe, or in the bar. Uh, I can't tell my employees to go to the bar, can I? <laughs> okay, so the bar, right? So they may set up in there, and then you can come down with your tablet or your phone or whatever, and if you are having issues that day, or if you're not able to hit the Wi-Fi, they'll be there during those designated times in order to help you. So we're, we're calling it the IST Mobile Help Desk. And we will put those dates and times in the resident update. Everybody reads the as a resident update cover to cover, right? Yes. Every week, okay. So those will be in there. So you'll know when we're gonna pop up. 
and that's what we're going to call it. Just we're just going to pop up. I'm not going to give you Monday at two o'clock. That's but we'll put those in the in the um, resident update, and that may be like we hear a lot of problems with scam, and you want to talk to somebody about that. Then we'll pop up and have technicians and maybe our team or partners sit there with us and answer those questions. Okay. So the other thing um, that we want to start doing is we will update our FAQ because we know there's lots of questions and they may be timely questions. And so we'll put these FAQs that you have with you and then also this presentation, we'll put it on our page on the portal and then as questions come up, we'll update that for you. So you can start using that um, information services and technologies page as a resource if you have any questions. <coughs> How does that sound? Okay. So I want to talk a little bit more about our on-site partners. We have people that are here on campus all day long, even though they're not our staff. Okay, so let's start with Alamo Tech and Secure Cables. Secure Cables is a partner company with Alamo Tech, um, and they do a lot of cabling and things in our commercial rooms. Okay, then we have Johnny V Technologies. You met Johnny a few minutes ago. He does several things within our residences and um, also helps us with phone tr troubleshooting. And then I've already spoken about the computer club and, and I'm gonna go through these a little more detail. So let's just start. So Alamo Tech keeps us safe. They are experts in cybersecurity and they are on top of things. We will never know how many things they catch for us every single day. They do constant monitoring to make sure that our risk is very low and that also we're very HIPAA compliant. We have a lot of emails about patients and, and um, you know, residents and the situations that are going on and they keep all of that information safe. Um, they also um, know the safeguards for cybersecurity and so they make sure that we're safe at all times from all of these these uh, hackers and scams and things, they provide that security from a corporate level. And then they do continuous network monitoring. They do a lot of monitoring of our systems so that we're not down. So this is an unheard of, so you know, we have been greater than 95% up, which means we've had less than 5% downtime for the entire year. It's, it's hours as opposed to days or weeks or whatever. So. Um, thank you, Alamo Tech, for taking care of us for the same. So we talked about Johnny, and Johnny, y'all have seen Johnny. Um, so he uh, goes into the new units for Tabitha's team and rewires them as they're doing the new, new renovations. He helps us by activating and installing those lines. Or if one of you decides that you want a line and you haven't had one before, he helps us to get that all um, he tests the lines for us and then we assign them and then you've got a new ARC phone line. He also does troubleshooting. So if some, your phone line's not working, we go in and do a cursory check to see if there's anything that we can take care of. And a lot of times it's easy stuff. A lot of times it's not easy stuff and it requires technicians from AT&T and, and Johnny is an authorized um, service tech for AT&T. He works with AT&T directly and so he helps us a lot. As, as you know, the, the phone lines and the data lines that come into your units also um, manage your life safety equipment to a certain extent. And so if we have uh, an outage, if your alarm's not working, Johnny's likely the one to go over <coughs> there and test the lines and make sure that they're working. So he works with JCI. Thank you, Johnny for everything you do. And then we have the computer club, the amazing computer club, and how many of you are, were in here, that was great. So that's a club that was um, created in 2005. Is that right? That's right. Um, that's residents helping residents. The lab is up on the fourth floor. You get off the elevators, go left, they're right there. It's an amazing computer lab to have a great resource for there to be here on campus. They um, have annual memberships, so you, for just $40 a year, you can be a member of the club, and you can go up and take classes, you can use their computers, printers, 
um, if you need to, we're doing it. The staff is using the computer lab when we start training our managers for PayCor. So they've allowed us to use that lab. So it's a great resource for all of us. And so that is available. Um, they do a lot of resident training for us. So when we have new residents come on board, new residents, who's a new resident from the past six months? Okay, so you received a membership to the computer <coughs> club for one year so that you could try it out and, and use the services. Um, and they also, because of that, they train the new residents on Works Hub and the portal and the reservation system and really anything the residents, it's not just the computers. They offer advice to new residents all the time, how to, how to live great here and use all the resources here. So amazing group here. They also do personal computer training. They have a, um, a technician that works um, when they're out, but their hours are on the brochure. Everybody get a brochure? Because look, sorry they're not folded. I just ran out of time. Um, so you can go in and they have, uh, they have a technician that will help you with advice with your devices. And so everybody applaud the computer club. For Okay, I am terribly remiss because I introduced Tom and Lisa, and I did not have Aaron and Juan stand up. Aaron and Juan are technicians that work for Alamo Tech, and Aaron is on site every day, and Juan is here quite frequently. <laughs> There's also a technician named Nathan. So Aaron works in the mornings, Nathan works in the afternoon, so we have an on-site network uh, technician um, five days a week, Monday through Friday. And they also help us with on-call. When if there's any kind of issue after hours, Aaron is like on the spot, taking care of us. So my apologies, gentlemen, I didn't introduce you. Okay, so our other partner is Spectrum, and um, I told Caesar he didn't have to talk, but if you have questions for him afterwards, you're welcome. Yeah. So, we are looking at finishing out our contract this month, and because of the holidays, we're not gonna come interfere in your units. You're welcome. So we're gonna do the installation in January, and what that's gonna be, who was here five years ago? But do you remember, like we had the Spectrum team just kind of come onto campus, and we had, what, five, 10 trucks, and we, um, we had our technicians accompany them into your units. We switched out the equipment, and then we made sure that you were able to connect to your new cable, your new internet. We're doing that again. That's gonna happen in January. And the reason we're doing that is because our modem slash routers are not the right ones to handle the new speed. So we are gonna to have to come into every single unit. If you don't want the speed, I don't have to come in your unit. You can let us know. But, um, we're also going to look at the cable boxes while we're in there and make sure your cable boxes are the most recent cable boxes and so that we can do that, the uh, new channels. Um, the motors, like I said, the modems and routers, no matter what you have, are going to be replaced. They're going to be new um, equipment. And then one of the cool things, so we're trying to bridge this gap between wired cable TV and the new streaming because people like to do the streaming now and learn, mm -hmm. learning how to do the streaming. And so this new uh, contract will do that for us. So you will have your own resident account and you will be able to stream your Spectrum account on any device, no matter where you are. So I thought y'all would be more excited than that. <laughs> so that'll be part of, part of what we're doing in January. Dates to be announced, we'll get past the holidays. We're not gonna do that to you during the holidays. Okay, all right. So the rest of the team, I introduced a minute ago, the ArcFit team, um, the directors and staff, can you stand up please? Wow, everybody stand up fast. Our directors and staff are also part of this team. We all work together really closely every day. They help us identify problems that we can then you know, come in and it may be a little problem and it may be a big problem. But as soon as someone identifies it, then we can. they identify a lot of scams and spam that's coming through phones and, and 
and things, and they are available to hear. If you are having a problem with a scammer or some kind of spam, please go to a director, go to us, let, let somebody know, because it's probably not just you that is having that problem. So we wanna make sure and make everybody aware, and so come to any of those people. And, and who is the other rest of the technology team? Oh, yeah. You are, because you help us identify issues. You help us identify problems. You make suggestions, just like you said. Cindy, you don't communicate with us. We need your help. We need to hear from you. And so you are also part of this very important team that keeps the technology running here on campus. <laughs> How to reach us. We are at 5292. All of our phones ring to one number because we don't want one person to get called and no one answer because <coughs> Justin is out fishing in Matamor Bay. But that was me. Anyway, so if you call and just leave a message on his phone, somebody might not get it. We have all our phones ringed to one number. And then we are going to every two hours, you remember, do I need to go back? Every couple hours we'll start checking those voicemail messages, the works up. We also have an email address at is at armyresidence.com. And then, of course, our preferred method is the work hub work orders. And I'll talk about that for just a minute. The technicians have works hub on their phones. So if they're out and about and they're in the Gelkin's apartment and there's an emergency, we send that work hub work order out and they get it immediately. Okay? If you put a, if you do something at the phone, you leave a voicemail, you do the email, we'll get those when we come back to the office. So that's why we really prefer works hub work orders. Um, and I haven't asked Debbie, but if you have an emergent issue, and like if you can't get into work, <coughs> please let the front desk know and they know how to reach us in an emergency. Okay? Clear? Okay. All right, that's the end of the formal presentation. Um, I am happy to get questions. Please ask your question in the microphone so everybody hears the question. Yes, ma'am. I wonder <coughs> if you could explain Arc Fit. I know you've explained it to some of the smaller groups, mm -hmm. but I think it would benefit everyone to know okay. what I think it's a great program. So. Thank you. Sure. Arc Fit is the Army Residence Community Facilities Innovation and Technology. As y'all remember, we did the um, big strategic plan um, initiative led by General Magruder. Thank you, General Magruder. Um, and so this was one of the committees created from that strategic plan. And it is supposed to address things that we can do on campus that will increase our technology and our use of any kind of resources here, anything kind of innovative that, we're, um, that comes up, we consider it within the committee and get advice the committee is, consists of residents and staff members, and we bring in experts. Like we brought Caesar in um, last month to talk to us all so we can get a comfort level for what is going on with uh, Spectrum. And so the, they're great advisors to us. It's a great committee, um, and they have so many suggestions that James and I kind of get bogged in to a lot of stuff. And it's just very, it's very smart to have them and give us great new ideas. So some of the things that we've done so far is they helped us vet out the new um, point of sale. Um, and then we um, also, like I said, we did Spectrum. We had CPS come in and talk to us about ways that we can improve our efficiency here from an electricity um, energy usage. And so we've um, had them come in and do a survey and we are implementing some of those items. Um, also, they did a report for us that we've passed on to Tabitha and the Phase Two team of things that we can do in healthcare that will save us some money. And when you implement their processes, you get rebates. And so that was a really cool thing that we did about it. So that's kind of what we've done so far. So thank you for the question. Yes, sir. I've been receiving emails from uh, Spectrum that Paramount, a streaming type service, is now part of our package. And in a store the other day, they encouraged me to pick up a streaming box, bring it home, swap it out. Is that what you're going to be doing in January? So if Is you receive messages from Spectrum, 
we are on a bulk package, so we have special stuff going on, okay? You're welcome to do this separately. It's called Zumo, is their product. And, um, sorry, Caesar, it's, it's just out of beta testing, and so there's a lot of problems with it. And so we don't, we do not, everybody's shaking their heads, yes. We're not recommending that you do that until we go in January and do that. So. Um, you're going to get a lot of ads from them. So the Caesar side of the business doesn't necessarily talk to the marketing side of the business. And so because you have accounts, you're going to start, you're, you're getting all of those ads and things. But we're just asking, if you have them, you can come to us and bring it and say, is this legitimate? The Taylors brought us a, a letter that they got on their individual account. And we did a lot of research trying to figure out what, you know, why he was getting it. And so... You're, you get these things because you're on their mailing list, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it has anything to do with our bulk account. So, so that'll be part of January's change out. You'll be able to get the streaming. Yes, sir. Hello, my name is Angie Gate. I'm fairly new, so this has been answered before. Forgive me, but first I wanted to say what a great job you do on selecting people to work here. Oh. Your people are amazing. Every time we do, being new, and when they come into my house and our house and helped us with something, I they treat me with respect that they would treat their grandmother, and I appreciate that. <laughs> they never make me feel like I'm stupid, and they answer all of our questions, and they're just amazing people. But I wanted to ask now that I'm a member of the team, um, is there something to be considered uh, and for review? If you could develop perhaps a community-wide message board that could be put on the portal where only people, it's just those that have access to the portal, so it's just residents, where we could communicate with each other. It's kind of takes the level, the, the board that's out by the um, uh, mail room, it takes it up several levels. Yes. For instance, I could post, went to go vote this morning, want you to know it was an hour and a half wait, so you might want to not go to feel that time. <laughs> or I could post and say, because I'm new, I'm looking for a doctor. Anybody can recommend um, something. Or if you're selling something, you could put it on the message board. And it gives access to everybody at one time. Anybody who logs on to the portal can just click onto the message board. And it gives great access to everyone instead of just the little board outside the mail. Something for your consideration. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Arc Fit team, that is our topic for conversation next Thursday. Not next. Yeah, it is next Thursday. I'm sorry. October the 31st at 10 a.m. is our next meeting. And our topic is communication in and around the residents and activities and the boards that are out. So perfect timing. Thank you. Thank you. 31st, yes. Yes, sir. Um, I noticed in the fre frequently asked questions, and maybe this is something for technical support, but especially in dining reservations, got a problem and I'm not sure where it existed but according to this FAQ uh, it's like you can't modify it however you get a mail back and in the mail there's a bar that says modify and doing that may have been where I got crosswise I'm not sure but I was having trouble with that system Putting it in is a piece of cake. That's a real joy. Um, but something about the difference when it comes back in the mail, it's like this part of the other system may not recognize it. I'm not sure. Okay, we'll, we'll look better into the Res Easy system. I know that they have some um, improvements that are coming up with that system. Um, should be released at the beginning of next year. So um, continuing development with that system, yes. Thank you, sir. Cindy, uh, you mentioned that uh, the replacement will be modems and routers. Currently, the routers are personally provided, personally purchased. You can keep your router if you need it, but you won't need it. The, this, this box will be your modem and your router. And we're not going to come take your router away from you. Like, but we won't need it anymore. But you won't need it any longer. Okay. Caesar assures me. Yes, takes up some less room. <laughs> I've got a question on uh, streaming, but yes, since you're talking about modems and routers, I've never understood which one is which. 
but apparently it doesn't mean anything to me. But what is streaming? Is, is it something that's going to be on my television screen, or is it something that's going to be only on my computer screen? Or streaming? You can stream on any device that is capable of, of doing it. So some of your TVs are smart TVs, they're Roku TVs, so you automatically have that capability. Sometimes you can buy a, a stick, I call them sticks, sorry, that's probably, what's the technical term, John? Okay, thank you. Fire stick. Um, to put into your existing TV? Streaming is the delivery of the content um, through the bandwidth, the data that's being provided. So lately we've been moving away from boxes because everybody has smart TVs, they have devices, and they watch their TVs on their phones, wherever they are. So they're streaming that content through the bandwidth that's delivering to their phone, to their iPads, and now to their smart TVs. So even if you have a smart TV, a box really isn't needed, but it's still the easiest and simplified way of doing it. Uh, How do we know if our TV is smart? <laughs> <laughs> Yours is not. <laughs> <laughs> All TVs sold in the last decade are smart TVs. Okay, just like other things around the heart, we will not just go in and throw this router and give you your credentials to your new Spectrum account and say, go forth and stream. We will not do that, okay? We have a technician going in with every Spectrum technician across the campus, and I promise that we will not just say, go forth and stream. We, we will offer support. Um, Caesars team is gonna be here for a week, then they're gonna have a limited number of techs come back the following week to handle any issues. And our techs are all on campus all the time. So, I promise. Yes. Last night, on football channels, all of the play-by-play -play was done in Spanish. So that is a setting on your television, and we can help you with that. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> on our ARC telephone line, when we get a red flag alert, it rings, it says red flag alert, and then hangs up. We never get what the alert is for. Write that down. We'll look into that. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Talking about the streaming services, are, are there certain ones that will be included in the package or? It will be all the channels that we have in our channel lineup, so the 125 plus, um, we're, we're still working on the channel lineup. We don't have it. Well, I'm talking now. about Paramount or Disney or? Those are part of the channel. They're part of the package. Yes. Pop part of the package. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. What's the difference between casting and streaming? Uh, cast, she's asking what the difference is between casting and streaming. So casting, I can have something on my phone and I can cast it to the television if it lets you do that. But streaming is um, you're using your Wi-Fi and your device and you are going out to a site, spectrum.com, and you're, you're hitting whatever channel you want to watch, and it comes down into whatever device you want it to come into. So that's well, very- we're trying to get on to Fox Nation, mm -hmm. because he's a veteran, and they say it's free, and I've been working for days to try to get him on there. Okay. Finally, I casted it, mm -hmm. it and it worked. But otherwise, I can't do it. I can't sign in, they won't take anything. So are you signing into your Spectrum account? To do it, no, I'll tell you what. I don't think so. Can you get with Caesar, and he can help you? Okay. All right. That's why I have him here. Yes, sir. Well, this is maybe a Caesar question. I have old TVs. I know they're older TVs. They've got smart TVs. So I did have a smart TV that I sold. But anyway, on my older TVs, 
I'm understanding that in order to stream, I probably have to have, have a fire stick or some device that will then interface with the TV to upgrade it to able yes. to get streaming. Is that correct? Correct. You want to make sure that product, the fire stick, does, uh, does uh, uh, partner with the Spectrum app. Right. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to do anything till we do the turnover in January and I'll, okay. I'll ask the technicians, what do I need to do to pick up streaming? What do I need to buy or purchase or install? But, you know, the TVs work, they're just older, they're not smart. And one way I think all TVs, when you turn them on, they have a little logo that says smart. And that's how you can tell when you have a smart TV. If it doesn't say that, you got you got what I got, a dumb TV. They usually TV. have a, a bar for a applications. <laughs> right, you'll get the apps and stuff on that. Thank you, Caesar. you're welcome. Again, we'll help you do that. We can help you analyze your equipment and make sure it's what you need make suggestions when we come in in January. We know that this is not a one week process, right? We know there's gonna be follow up We know there's gonna be new things that you're gonna to have to put on your phones, your tablets, your computers. We're, we're gonna be there to help you. We know that this is not a one week process. One thing I'd like you to clarify is that when we're talking about streaming services like Disney, Prime, and those things paramount. and paramount those are not pluses correct well they have we, paramount and they have paramount plus i know that they yes disney. they do yes. and and yeah. what are we going to be we're still negotiating okay which is not the right answer right now okay. i know i'm sorry okay. but we because are still I, negotiating you know right now i think people are thinking pluses right. and and uh, that may not be true right. Okay. When we signed the uh, latest carriage fee with Disney and Paramount, we did uh, include the plus. Excellent. So for uh, any retail resident getting uh, select would get those products as Great. well. And that was announced last week and we're negotiating that. So okay. it will probably be. Great. Thanks, Steve. You welcome. know we're going to do what's best for you. Yes. We are always striving to make things better here and better technology and better services and better service. So. The uh, communications between you folks and the residents, uh, we have the portal with that. Who in the devil takes care of channel 1890? We take care of channel 1890 through Spectrum. Will that be streamed in the future? Yes, yes. We will absolutely continue to have a community channel. Yes. That, uh, yes. Good question. Uh, Mr. Rosso asked if you would be able to get 1890 on your phone. Yes. You will be able to get it on your phone, your tablet, your computer. Any channel that you have on the Spectrum lineup, you can then get on your uh, uh, anything. Cindy, we used to have music on 1890, so you could keep your TV on and you could listen to some easy listening music. Um, we what stopped putting music on there because we had music wars. That's <laughs> y'all can agree. Tell me what channel that everybody wants and we will put it back on there. But we were changing the music left and right. So happily, would you like to have this playlist that you saw before the session? No. I'm kidding. That was a joke. Okay, now you're laughing. Anyway. If we can all agree on the music and not have music wars and not be sending nasty messages to my team that you hate the music, then we will happily put music You back. can turn the volume off. You can <laughs> We will work on that. We'll work on that story. <laughs> my question is, what will be the fees for the new system? So the new Spectrum system? What will, be, what will the cost be on our house account? Okay, so the bulk plan, which is what we are negotiating, is what our standard services are gonna be, and you do not get charged for that. That's part of your maintenance fee. You don't see that separate, okay? Now, if you're like me, and you have to watch every football game on every Saturday and every Sunday, then you're going to have to upgrade your account and you basically have an account, everyone will have an account, and you can add even higher streaming service for your internet, or you can add extra channels, and then you will receive a bill from Spectrum for those additional services. You may not need to do that anymore because our channel lineup is really good. 
So we can help you make those decisions, but you just, it's part of your maintenance fee. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.